guys welcome to my channel i'm kansime lillian and my channel is gardening with kansime yes guys i'm so excited because we get to share our knowledge about propagation i will mainly be talking about propagation of different types of plants so three months back i was so excited and surprised when i i took on the challenge about the bird nest fan so this is the splenium nidus and commonly known as a bird nest fan why it's called a bird nest fan i think because it has that shape that a bird uh, nest makes yeah so that's why it's called a bird nest fan because it has that shape i don't know whether you guys can see it but the shape is in there yeah so we'll mainly be talking how to multiply and increase the stock of our bird nest funds recently i would i was propagating them through a uh, root division but this time i was wondering why they naturally dispose of and you find the spores growing in different uh, locations of the garden that are really moist so i was like i need to do it and when i did it guys uh, the funds actually germinated so i want to show you how you can propagate your bird nest fan and it comes into a real fun so you're wondering what this is this is like my small greenhouse because i want to keep it as moist as possible so i usually use these containers to even control the pests that can easily go inside the spores so this is how small once they are planted and they grow this is how small they look it starts like this then progresses to this then that then that then this so every year is a process for it and to this i think this is like eight years old but i'll go straight to the spores and show you so guys these are the spores if you're to see and if you have a bird nest fan out there you can actually check below the leaves you'll see the spores so these are the spores i'm talking of because each plant reproduces its own six different leaves. so in the plants they are usually referred to as spores so I will show you how you can propagate this bird nest fan using spores. So I will actually come, I've already taken some of these ones off. I will show you, you see the spores down here? These are the different spores. So I will show you guys, this is our greenhouse. Uh, I already put in some uh, pit moss. I have pit moss in there. So I will just, you just come below your leaf, these are the spores, so you naturally come and try to, to remove them. So I will just use a cutting shear, but you have to make sure you disinfect it in case of any dirt or any bacteria around it. So I had to first disinfect and I will just naturally take them off with my own. So Janelle, I need your hand over here. You can put your hands. I'll scratch this off. I don't want to take off many. That's enough. So guys, these are the spores, if you can see. So those are our spores, we'll naturally just slightly untap her hand and make sure they all fall inside the container. Yeah. So then you can just pass those ones that side. So if you see in here, these are the spores that I've put here inside this well draining soil. Yep. I'll show you guys a video of when they sprout. So I'll write a date when I planted these spores. So once they sprout, I'll definitely show you that video of how they they are progressing in here. And when it comes to a bird nest fern, they just love well draining soils, and you can put them under partial shade to full shade, and never expose them to direct sunlight because they don't deal with the heat. Yeah, so these are very nice loving shade plants and it can be indoor. It loves shade, shade, shade. 
thank you guys please subscribe to my channel and click the like button and the notification bell because i'll be sending in new videos so that you don't miss out thank you for watching till next time